Hello students, welcome to today's session. Today we are going to discuss pass by value and pass by reference. So, we need to understand the meaning of these terms value and reference in context of variables. So, there are two kinds of variables, one is a value type of variable and one, the other one is reference type of variable. The value type of variable is represented by any of the primitive types. Okay? So, for example, if I declare a variable x of int type, this x variable will store the value 10. If I declare a character variable y, this, this y variable is going to store an actual character. Similarly, if I declare a boolean type of variable, this is going to store an actual value like false. Okay? So, a value type of variable stores the data itself, the actual data. Okay? Whereas, if we talk about reference type of variables, this is represented by non-primitive non -primitive types. Okay? So, in this program, you can see I have got a class named as pass. Okay? So, if I create a variable of pass type, okay, that is like this, something like this, pass p1. Okay? So, this p1 variable is known as a reference variable. Okay? So, we will uh, we'll talk more about this reference variable when we discuss pass by reference. Okay? So, now let us come to our present topic that is pass by value. So, in pass by value, the formal parameters the formal parameters is going to have a primitive type of variable as you can see here i've declared a num2 variable of type int okay so this uh, the display function here will be called by the main function so let's execute the main function line by line and see what happens on the first line of the main function, a variable num1 is declared and initialized with the value of 10. On the next line, we are just printing the value of num1, so therefore it is going to print 10. On the third line of the main function, I have got a function call, a call to the display function. Therefore, the control is going to come to the display function here and num2 num2 is going to receive the copy of the value of the variable num1. Okay? So, num1, num1 is storing the value 10 and, and num2 which is present inside the display function will get the same copy of the value of num1 that is 10. Okay? So, both num1 and num2 are separate variables num2 has its own copy of num2 has got a copy of the value of num1 that is 10 and num1 is storing 10 okay so once the control has come to the display function so in the first line of the display function we are printing the value of num2 that is going to print 10 as 10 was received by num2 in the next line, we are multiplying the value of num2 that is 10 by 2. So, 10 into 2 is 20 and that 20 is going to be stored in the same variable num2. So, the value of num2 will become 20. So, in the next line, when we print the value of num2, it is going to print 20. Okay? So, once all the statements are executed in the display function, the control comes back to the main function on the same line from where the control left and then it will go to the next line on the next line it will print the value of num1 so 
what do you think the value of num1 will be will it be 20 or will or will it be 10 it will be 10 because when you made a change to this num2 variable here okay that will not get reflected in this formal parameter that is num1 okay and that is the definition of pass by value so pass by value means when any change is made to the formal parameters in this case num2 that is not reflected in the actual parameters that is num1 in this case okay so the output is going to be 10 here okay then this is also going to print 10 then 20 and finally 10 so the output is overall output is 10 10 20 and 10 okay 10 10 20 10 let's have a look at the output so we have called the main function and you can see that the output is 10 10 20 10 so this is pass by value the two points the two point the important points regarding pass by value are number one it use uh, the formal parameters will contain primitive types and the second point is that any change in the formal parameters is not reflected in the actual parameters so this was passed by value thank you